I'm Brian, welcome to Build a Place. Today I'm going to be demoing the 90 degree bending attachment for my V4 metal bender. Let's go to work. To set up the 90 degree bending attachment, we're going to take the, the arm out of the holder and we're going to put the pin in the end hole here and the second hole back. That's going to be the long pin. And for my bender, I had to make a, an extra round die because my 90 degree bending attachment just wouldn't work right. I tried and tried and it just wouldn't make the bend. So I made this adapter piece up and now the 90 degree bending attachment works perfect. It goes in the pivot, the, I call it the center pivot. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna put the 90 degree bending attachment in so you go back uh, one, two, three holes on the side here. Put the bending attachment so that the longest part of the taper is going to this back post. So put that in there and that's going to take the another long pin and that's going to be the second it's going to fall into the second hole back. And the last thing we need to do is put this is the inch and a quarter, or the lowest, smallest die that came with the bender. And put that all the way out to the end and put a short, short pin in there. Now it's, this is all ready to set up to make a 90 degree bend. I'm gonna show you how I set up the stop. I already have a piece of metal that is bent at 90 degrees that I'm gonna use for the demonstration. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it around just like when I made the bend and I'm gonna stop. And I see where I've stopped at. So that's where I'm gonna put my, my stop gauge is gonna go right there at that point. So I'll adjust that thing out. So the stop gauge came with your, your bender and just put your stop gauge right there. And screw nut, and I don't know if you have the same uh, screw and nut, but that's what I ended up with. And I have the tools to keep with me. A wrench to hold the nut and I get the right side. And I'm gonna try putting a little pressure on it. Okay, so that's set for approximately for 90 degrees. Now we'll have to, I'm gonna use the same piece to do the demonstration, but I'll just cut that Cut that piece off and then we'll, we'll make those bends. I have the mark where I want to make the bend, so it's just simply slip a piece of metal between the 90 degree bending attachment and, well, my 3D printer, it's a pretty bold yellow die. And then just line up your, I just put a mark there for, for demo purposes, but line up your mark that you would have to make your bend and put some pressure on it. And since this doesn't really matter a whole lot, it's not a real bend, I'm not gonna be too concerned, but go until you hit the stop. Now we're at the stop, and then we'll take our metal out. And I can already tell we're not at, we're not at 90 degrees. So we're gonna make a little bit of adjustment on that stop. We're gonna push it out just a little bit more distance. Successive approximation, I guess you could call it. I'm gonna bring this all the way out to it hits there so I have a guide onto where it stopped at. And then I'll bring this guide in just a little bit more. Not that much, probably right there. I may overbend, but we'll, we'll try right there. And when we make the bend, we'll put the Piece of metal back in like it was. And it should automatically line up where the line was because it's already almost a 90. And bend it a little bit further. Now it looks like we're a lot closer. We're a lot closer to 90. I can get my, my square out and hopefully you can see that I'm not I'm not quite 90. Well, you can see I'm definitely not quite 90. I'm up a little bit. So here's where we got to make the 
some more adjustment. So we're just, this is good if you're gonna be making a lot of parts and you want them to be all the same. Now if you're just making one bend, you're probably not gonna go through all this work. But if you need to make several of these bends at 90 degrees, then you're gonna to wanna to set your bender up so that you can make that, that bend. And you're not gonna, cause you can't really see, you really don't see the 90 degree because the, the tool covers most of it. So you really don't get a good view of the bend. Unlike most benders, you can kind of get a, a view of where the bends, you kind of get it, you kind of side it a little bit, but not really. So here we're gonna go for the third attempt to get it 90. Well, we jumped over top of the stop and that's what we ended up with. But you can get the gist, I don't know what I did. I jumped right over top of that stop. It's not very thick of metal. Jumped right over top of it. But, so I ended up with a much greater than 90 degrees, but you can see you can make something greater than 90 degrees. But this is just a piece of aluminum alloy. I think it's 50-52 alloy. It bends fairly nice. It doesn't have any real bad stress cracks on it. Just slight, even that over bending it at a 90. It's a pretty sharp, bend on the inside too so it does a pretty good job now that I have that die so I'm going to include that die if you have this same brand of uh, bender and you're running the problem with a 90 degree bending attachment just doesn't work you know I'll have that uploaded it'll be a step file and you can just download it and get it printed or you can make it out of a piece of metal if you want that's the V4 YP38 Metal Bender in Action. If you like this demo, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to Build a Place, and leave comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.